Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Before we begin today's practice, Make your intention clear in your mind. What are you letting go of that has been in the way of your freedom and fulfillment? I'm letting go of fear, doubt, unforgiveness, judgment, indecision. What are you embracing that is in alignment with your desire to awaken to your true self? I am embracing love. Trust, forgiveness, innocence, peace. Take a moment to write your intention in the comments below, now or after your practice. Share them to solidify your intention in your own consciousness and in the world. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The principle with which we practice today is Miracles are seen in light And light and strength are one. Our purpose today is to experience the light of strength in you which will reveal to you the miracles that are always here, but veiled by your belief that the body's eyes behold foundational reality. You do not think of light in terms of strength and darkness in terms of weakness. That is because your idea of seeing is tied up with the body in its eyes and brain. In the dream matrix, you were taught to believe that the body's eyes can see and that the brain can think. The eyes exist only because seeing is a quality of consciousness. They do not give rise to seeing. The body's brain exists only because thought is a quality of consciousness brain does not generate thought. It is God's strength in you that is the light in which you see. It is God's mind with which you think. All true qualities come not from the body, not from the world, but from the essence of consciousness, the essence of what you are in truth. The body's eyes look at darkness and behold the likeness of itself. The eyes behold the small, the weak, the sickly and the dying. They behold those in need, the helpless and afraid, the sad, the poor, the starving, and the 
joyless. The body's eyes behold death. All these are seen through eyes that cannot see the essence and cannot bless. The strength of light overlooks these things by seeing past appearances. It keeps its steady gaze upon the light that lies beyond them. It unites with the light of which it is a part. It sees itself. It brings the light in which your true self appears. In darkness, you but seem to perceive a self that is not really there. Strength is the truth about you. Weakness is but an idol worshipped falsely and adored that strength may be veiled and darkness may rule where God appointed that there should be light. All this is only the illusion of the dream matrix. There is no will but God's. Strength comes from truth and shines with light its source has given it, while weakness reflects the darkness of its maker, which is the ego thought system, the idea of separation. Contemplate this difference. Light, which is an attribute of your true self, is a savior and can only will for happiness and peace for everyone. It gives its strength to everyone who asks in limitless supply. It sees that lack in anyone would be a lack in all. And so it gives its light that all may see and benefit as one. Its strength is shared that it may bring to all the miracles in which they will unite in purpose, in forgiveness, and in love. Weakness, on the other hand, which looks in darkness and cannot see a purpose in forgiveness and in love. Weakness sees all others different from itself and nothing in the world which it would share. It judges and condemns, but does not love. In darkness, it remains to hide itself and dreams that it is strong and conquering, a victor over limitations which but grow in darkness to enormous size. It fears and it attacks and hates itself. And darkness covers everything it sees, leaving its dreams as fearful as itself. No miracles are here, but only hate. It separates itself from what it sees, while light and strength perceive themselves as one. This is the distinction between the two thought systems between which you get to choose. The ego thought system or the thought system of the Holy Spirit which leads to the awakening of your true self. The light of strength is not the light that you see with your physical eyes. It does not change and flicker and go out. It does not shift from night to day and back to darkness till the morning comes again. The light of strength is constant, sure as love, forever glad to give itself away because it cannot give but to itself. No one can ask in vain to share its sight, and none who enter its abode can leave without a miracle before their eyes 
and strength and joy abiding in their heart. The strength in you will offer you the light and guide your seeing so you do not dwell on idle shadows which the body's eyes provide for self-deception. Strength and light unite in you and where they meet your true self stands ready to embrace you as its own. Such is the meeting place we try today to find and rest in. For the peace of God is where your true self is waiting now to meet itself again and be as one. So take a deep breath now. And as you exhale, allow your mind and body to relax. Set your intention now to let yourself be brought onto your true self. Its strength will be the light in which the gift of true perception is given you. Leave then the darkness a little while today and we will practice seeing in the light closing the body's eyes and asking truth to show us the meeting place of self and true self where light and strength are one. So turn inwards now and ask your inner guide to show you this meeting place to bring you to the light and strength of your true self within. Let go now of all the concepts you have ever learned, of all ideas that have come to you from this world. Open your awareness fully to this instant now. The light that we seek is the light which illuminates your inner experience now. With your eyes closed, Notice that you are aware. As a thought passes through your mind, it is the light of awareness which illuminates it. your attention to sink back into awareness, away from the perceived, to the light which illuminates all perception. Just like the projector in the movie theater illuminates every character, every object, every landscape, and every aspect of the world that you see on the movie screen. So too, the light of awareness within you illuminates all things and gives its light, its love, life to all things. And 
just like in the movie screen, where all things are made of the one light. So too are all things one with the light that shines within you now. Take another deep breath, and as you exhale, let go, and sink down and into this light of awareness. And rest in it, as you allow it to reveal itself to you. Do this now. stay present with it now, aware of the light of awareness, the light of consciousness. It is that aspect of your experience now which is completely changeless. This light never flickers and never goes out. Rest into this light now.
give all of your attention to the stillness, the changeless presence ever-present, silent witness. Continue to put all of your attention at the expense of everything else towards this still presence the light, the strength. The awareness within you. And listen. As you approach the completion of this practice period, take a deep, slow, and full breath in. Breathe all the way to the top and hold it as you behold the intention to integrate the fruits of your practice into your thought system. And as you exhale now, Relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this idea with you into the rest of your day, repeating it as often as you can and recognizing that you are being introduced to true vision and led away from darkness to the light where only miracles can be perceived. Miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. investing your time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice, please like the video, share your experience and your intentions in the comments below, and subscribe to the channel to continue the journey. May you be at peace and know your true self.